Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. friend uh, that I financially support uh, had a kid, so uh, I'm a dad. Friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't exactly ready for it. Uh, he gave me a call, he was all excited. He was like, yo, bro, I got great news. I was like, you got a job? And he was like, no, bro, I had a kid. And I was like, wow, that's like the exact opposite of a job. <laughs> I can't wait to have a kid, I'm very excited. I don't think it's very hard uh, at all. No, because all my friends are having them, and, uh, and their complaints, uh, they don't uh, bother me very much. All their complaints are the same. They're like, bro, it cries. And I'm like, oh, man, go in the other room. <laughs> yeah, everything cries, you know? You try to make it stop, but then you leave. I cry all the time. Eventually, my friend's like, yo, dude, I got to go to work. I don't know, <laughs> figure it out, get offline. Oh, get offline. <laughs> so that, they say it cries. Uh, and the other complaint is they're like, yo, it like shits all the time. And that doesn't really bother me either because like, you know, so do I. You know, so I don't mind cleaning it up at like a smaller scale, you know? <laughs> Plus when you clean kids, sometimes you see spots that like you might have missed on yourself, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, you're like, wow, I've never seen my asshole from this angle before. You're like, I will dab that corner when I hop out the shower. <laughs> You hop out the shower, you're like, son of a bitch. <laughs> I love babysitting, uh, cause I microdose mushrooms, so I speak baby. Uh, yeah, I love it. They're talking, you know? Uh, the, the other day, my, uh, my nephew was like, Bleh! and I was like, forensic files, got it. <laughs> so, I was, <laughs> Mushrooms are great. Mushrooms are like, uh, are like kind of like being on a roller coaster when you're like going up, but like you just never go down. It's just the way up, you know, where you're like, this is sick, this is awesome, I can't believe we're doing this, oh my God, for like four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Something weird uh, happened when I was babysitting uh, the other day. Uh, my friend, uh, his son is teething, right? And, uh, so like we were watching Forensic Files and I was just sitting there and uh, he, he's teething so he just like grabbed my hand and started like sucking my fingers, but like good. <laughs> like, like I definitely left it in there for a second. <laughs> I was like, no, wow, but no. <laughs> I know that joke splits the room. <laughs> I'm aware it's not the first time I've done this. Uh, I know it's weird to tell jokes like that, but this is a joke, you know, this is a comedy club. You know, it would be weird if this was like a town hall meeting. And I like grabbed the mic and I was like, hey guys, here are some ideas I have. <laughs> All right, I'll be in the lot with buttons. Um, I think girls should tell guys how to make them come. Uh, like the first time you have sex, before, like have a debriefing, you know? Debriefing. You know, because apparently every girl is different, is, uh, you know, what I'm telling myself. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is different, and I think one of them is just dead inside. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm like, no, I think you're just broken. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, sometimes you say giggly things. Yeah. Um, no, but yeah, girls should tell guys uh, how to make them come. Not when they're comfortable, you know? I know you don't want to hurt the guy's feelings, but it won't. Uh, it doesn't, you know? You could be, we could be mid, you know, fuck, and uh, you could be like, I hate this. And we'll be like, oh, how's this? Good? Okay, forgotten. You know? <laughs> Didn't even happen, you know? You should just tell the guy, you know? Like, I guess guy stuff is very self-explanatory, right? You just, like, yank it and shit flies out, right? <laughs> it's really easy. Like, my son could do it. And, uh, aww.
But yeah, apparently, you know, uh, it's not very hard to make girls come. You know, like if you're sweating and out of breath, I'm told you have done it wrong. <laughs> but you know, I, all I know is from like porn because I grew up with just like a mom and a sister, right? Oh. So like we never had that talk. You know, I just never had that dinner where like I felt comfortable to be like, you know, yo guys. <laughs> If I wasn't your son or brother. Uh, <laughs> you know, so uh, everything I knew uh, was from porn, which is like a lot of movement and like screaming. And, uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes you just take it out and do a couple push ups, you know? And like, um, so I, <laughs> you know, so I, I don't really, I didn't really know. But like, luckily, uh, one uh, lady told me apparently there's just like, there's this like little, uh, little thing in the vagina. It's like a little circle thing. It, it kind of, you know, boxing, it kind of looks like the thing that's like this. Oh my God. <laughs> like speed bag thing. Speed bag. <laughs> the thing that guys go slow or quite fast on. <laughs> and apparently the vagina is uh, quite the same. You know, you just kind of just tap that little thing very, very lightly. And, or, or floor it, uh, apparently. Oh, floor it. Two options. Floor it? Yeah, don't even have to change your outfit. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, you should just tell the guy, you know? Like I said, guy stuff is very self-explanatory, but if someone ever pulled my pants down and just started like punching my dick, I would be like, oh fuck, I hope she figures it out. Ow, 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 there's more. I would be like, who sent you? What is this? What is this, what is this assassination attempt? Like, here's something uh, that no guy likes, but we're, like, afraid uh, to tell uh, the girl, you know? Because uh, we're, like, so close to banging. There's not many words uh, to, to say what that is. So banging is, you know, the most appropriate for... This is going to be on Nickelodeon. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wore a suit, you know? Because usually uh, I don't. I always just usually dress like I'm ready to be slimed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I found a nice lady suit at the Banana Republic and I'm fucking crushing it right now. I look like a divorced wife who just like got it together. <laughs> Don't come back. <laughs> I have a repertoire now. Um but yeah, here's something that, that no, no guy likes uh, at all. Uh, you know when like a girl's on top, right? Before they like shove the dick in them? Again, I know that's not the best way to say it. But believe it or not, I've tried five other ways and shove the dick in them, one, by like a landslide. <laughs> so just imagine how horrible the other four were, right? <laughs> Suddenly it's better. Um, so yeah, you know when they're on top and they're about to slam it up there? Uh, see, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You know? So you know when you're on top of me about to shove the dick in you? Uh, some, some girls, most, uh, usually they just start sliding uh, uh, on top of the dicks before they put it up there. They're just like, yeah, yeah, do you like this? No, we don't. <laughs> it hurts a lot. Stop doing that, every girl ever. Please, please, just put it in there, please. It hurts so fucking bad. It hurts, you know, because you shave or you don't. Either way, you're all prickly down there, right? And then prickly. we just start like rubbing that against our bare little dicks. <laughs> that shit hurts. You're like, oh, you like that? And I'm like, no. Have you ever gotten an Indian burn? Because that's what it feels like. It feels like, feels like you're my mom's weird friend that would do that when she wasn't around. Oh. <laughs> yeah, everybody remembers that weird friend, right? Oh. Everybody go upstairs and you'd be like, hey kid, you ever get an Indian burn? <laughs> and then you'd be like, no. And at first you'd be like, cool. And then you're like, hey, stop, mister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no guy likes that, okay? It feels very bad. It feels like sandpaper. I guess girls can't tell because like the enjoyment and the pain face are pretty much the same during <laughs> fucking. They're both like, ah, you know, so like, I guess, but it, it, it really hurts a lot, you know? And then, and then all of a sudden uh, your dick gets like all chapped and like ripped apart. And, and, it, and then the next day you wake up and you're like, what 
the fuck is this? You're like, what, what is this? Did I get some new STD that uh, arrives within 24 hours? This is crazy. And then I go to the doctor and I'm like, hey man, what is this? And he's like, you need to learn how to fuck. And I'm like, what? What is this? Doctors in Staten Island uh, are a lot different.